Welcome back people, I'm Zach and we have an exciting video for you today. We're in Snowdonia on this beautiful morning and we're heading up Carnid Daffid via the Lekdu Spur Ridge. The video today is sponsored by Blacks. They have kindly sent me out some kit including a Rab hoodie, Rab trousers, a Rab down jacket and a waterproof jacket. They've also sent me out a pair of Scarpa boots. Now these are my first pair of Scarpas and I must say I'm very impressed so far, they are incredibly comfy. And they've also sent me an Osprey Daylight backpack. And as you know, I'm a big fan of Osprey. I'll leave all the links to the items in the description box below. So make sure you go check Blacks out. I'll be giving my thoughts today on the kit and I'm excited to put it to the test on this hike. Um, and I must say, initial impressions are strong. I mean, I love the absolute business, come on now. We've just had our first bit of bad luck on this hike. My remote shutter for my camera has fallen out of my pocket somewhere. We've been walking around now for about half an hour trying to find it. Um, just retracing my steps. But, so I set my tripod up on one of these rocks over here a short while ago. And I used my remote shutter then just to grab a few pictures of the kit. So if it's going to be anywhere, it's going to be around here. It's called the pebble which is um, a very good name for it because it looks just like one. So I've probably already walked past it multiple times and it's just blended in with all these little rocks that are in the area. I'm just gonna go on with the hike now, I think. Unless I find it on the way back up once more, unless I find it, I'll call it quits. And try and find some other way. We'll try and improvise a way of getting some sick photos. Um, I'm not sure quite how to do that yet. Trying to get everything in focus still but we'll give it our best shot and we're still going to enjoy today we're still going to enjoy this hike it's not the end of the world uh, as infuriating as it is so yeah let's keep going i guess so not being one to give up i persevered and I went back a third time to try and find it. Met up with these absolute legends here. One of them found it. So we're back on track. And yeah, cheers boys. So we've just got our first view of the ridge and the scramble we'll be doing today. It looks absolutely brutal i can't wait to get going on that the boys i was chatting to uh, they said it's called crib lem so i've been using the welsh name for it which i can't even remember now so we're going with crib lem and yeah it looks it looks beautiful so the ridge hopefully i'm pointing to it is there crib lem looks mighty yeah i mean that looks amazing so let's go take it on So as part of Black's Everyday Life Outdoors campaign, I thought I'd briefly touch on what got me into the outdoors in the first place. So I used to be an avid rugby player. It was all I did for about 12 years, it was just rugby. And on the 13th of March, 2020, I had a serious ankle injury called a trimaliola fracture dislocation. Uh, long story short, it took me about 28 months to play my next game of rugby and I never truly got back into it after that. One summer during my recovery, I was collecting data for my dissertation in Argyll, Scotland. And although I was born there, I never had properly explored the Highlands of Scotland. Um, so when I got out, I just completely fell in love with it. I remember my first time camping was on that trip and I hated it. I absolutely hated it. Didn't get a wink of sleep. I was using a pop-up tent on a busy campsite, it wasn't for me. But something was drawing me to the outdoors up there. So I persevered, as your boy does, and bought some kit, invested in some good kit, and just gradually started scaling it up. 
uh, to where I am now really. And ever since then, this has been my escape. Not rugby, not the gym, getting into the outdoors. And yeah, I wouldn't change it for the world. I'm very grateful that everything happened with regards to my ankle and rugby and stuff. Because if it didn't, then I wouldn't be here today. I wouldn't have these opportunities that I do today. So, yeah, that's kind of my, my story. So I've chucked the down jacket on. Here it is. Beautiful colorway, extremely comfy, true to size fit. It's everything you need. Has a stuff bag as well, which is perfect because it means you can really compact it down and put it in a day sack like this, the Osprey one I'm wearing. So yeah, perfect. And the, the fleece hoodie, the wrap fleece hoodie, again, absolute quality. Uh, you can't ask for much more in it. It's actually really breathable as well. I wasn't sweating up too much in it. Um, would definitely recommend that. I'll probably be going back on soon when I get too hot wearing this. But what a day. Oh, I'm loving this so far. <laughs> I was sweating way too much in that down jacket but it is beautiful and it is super warm. So it's going to be coming with me on virtually all of my trips going forward. Um, just as an extra, extra layer should things go south. Um, ah, I'm absolutely in love with this hike so far. I'm not going to lie. I mean, just, just the, it's, I mean, there's barely a path. I mean, it's, it's a very small little trail and it's reminiscent of Scotland, as I've mentioned prior. And finding a hike like this, which many people don't go on in Snowdonia, is so nice. I mean, I mean, one of my mates yesterday was climbing Snowdon and he sent me a picture when he got to the summit and there was just a massive line of people. And I mean, personally for me, that doesn't quite cut it. I mean, that would really uh, frustrate me if I've got to the top of a mountain and there's a queue of a couple hundred people waiting to get to the summit. Uh, that's, that's not... No, what I go out to do, um, as I say, the only people I've seen on this hike so far were those lads that saved me. Um, and that is it. I mean, this trail is beautiful. Absolutely stunning. Just a quick update on the boots. Very comfy still, nice and cushioned. The waterproofing has been tested. Went through a few bogs and obviously my feet have remained dry. The going now is fairly steady. I'm getting a slight bit of rubbing on my heels. Um, but I think that's to be expected with a new pair of boots. Um, I think I'd be naive to go into it thinking, oh, there's going to be no blisters or anything. Um, but as far as new pairs of boots or shoes are going, I mean, they're spot on, they're true to size. I've got a nine and a half, fit like a, fit like a dream. Um, as I say, I look the part, comfy. Couldn't ask for much more. We're just getting now to the base of the ridge. I think maybe we've got a mile to go. Um, I'll probably sit down, have some lunch. It's early, early, so I think it's about half nine in the morning. But I'm gonna have my lunch because I'm hungry. So there's a couple ways up Criblem. I think the main way you head up there, that direction, and then take a sharp left and work your way back up. I think that's the main way, but I'm really tempted to head across that way and just straight up. So this is the wrap jacket. I'm not gonna lie, the colorway is unbelievable. Uh, it's Pertex, so it's very breathable. Not as stiff as Gore-Tex, it's nice and not as rustly either, not tight. Really good fit. This is a size medium. One of the things I love about this jacket is the massive armpit vents. You can open them right up and let your armpits breathe. I've only got a vest on underneath this. And, oh my days, it's so welcome having a bit of breeze uh, passing, passing through. I've just discovered that the trousers have some vents as well. So breathability is, uh, yeah, rubber smashed it with that.
Yeah, your boy had to abort that route. Sadly, it's just over there behind me. Just a bit too vertical. I mean, there was absolutely no grip on that rock whatsoever. No footholds, no hand grips, and not just nothing at all. Um, with a pair of climbing shoes, I maybe, maybe could have done it. Just by bracing in between the uh, the two faces, but in hiking boots, you're probably going to struggle, as as I did. Um, yeah, quite annoying. I hate it when I can't do something. I really hate it. But we'll just find another route up. I mean, there's plenty of the scrambling routes about. I'm letting my camera just charge up a bit quick. Um, like taking in the view, this is a stunning view right here. Um, yeah, we go again. I'm not not disheartened. As I say, there's plenty more scrambling to be done. And it was fun anyways. It was fun getting that far. to the summit and I'm now just finding somewhere to have a spot to eat. You know I did all that scrambling and it was absolutely amazing. Probably up there with one of the best scrambling experiences I've had. It was a fantastic ridge with some fantastic exposure on certain elements, on certain bits. Um, it actually rivals Triffin which uh, is the view I'm heading over towards now. here, went up there, diagonal, up to the top and then along the ridge up to the summit. So I'm just heading down the mountain now, similar way to the route I took up except I'm just not taking the ridge line this time. Yeah, probably some of the best scrambling I've done. 
I'll be honest, it was, yeah, it was kind of just fantastic, really. There was a few exposed sections, and there's one bit in particular, the last sort of exposed rock I climbed, uh, I was going to bail, I'll be honest, I was going to bail, I had a look, scanned around, and didn't really see a way up. Um, there was one possible way, um, I don't know if I slipped or it went wrong, it would have been game over for me. But I remembered something that my great uncle Brian wrote in his book that he gave to me, that there's there's no excitement without fear. And that's probably the first time I've put that um, saying into practice, was at that rock. And it just came into my head and I thought, I'm just gonna send it. And it worked out. And now I feel amazing. It's just nice doing something like that. Gets your adrenaline up. I mean, I stood at the top, my legs were shaking because it wasn't wide. I mean, you can't see it, but it was probably slightly wider than like me, shoulder width at the top. Obviously, substantial drops either side. Um, but yeah, I made it, and yeah, some of the best scrambling I've done. And the kit has held up unbelievably. I could genuinely not be happier with it. Um, trousers have just this is probably my new favourite trousers, I'll be honest. I love the ventilation bits on my legs. Just haven't got sweaty at all. The jacket, this one here again, absolutely phenomenal. Uh, loads of ventilation, my back doesn't like, get sweaty or stick at all. Um, and it looks absolute business as well. So, yeah, the shoes, the, uh, what are the scarpers, they've stopped rubbing. Maybe that's just because the decline, so my feet are a bit more pushed forward I'm not sure but again I couldn't recommend these enough they are fantastic scrambling boots um, and I would say the majority of what I did was grade one there's probably a few bits which were maybe grade two yeah but I couldn't recommend the kit enough and the backpack has been phenomenal I mean it's got two massive pockets either side to store drinks I've got my tripods in them as well um, a huge front pocket I'm just gonna take a seat huge front pocket well, I've got my map at the minute, but you can store waterproofs, uh, even food really easily. It's a massive pocket. It's got a top pocket as well for maybe a charge charger, battery pack, camera, mic, anything along those lines. And then the inside as well, it's adjustable. It says it's 26 litres. It feels, I don't know, it does feel about 26 litres, but you'd be surprised at how much you can actually fit in that. Uh, and as I say, for a day pack, it's couldn't get much better it's a basic rucksack done very very well and if it wasn't I'd tell you it's as simple as that um, I also have no sweat on my back from the rucksack which is amazing normally my back is soaked because of it but yeah this one I don't know what sort of uh, wizardry they've done to it but it just works really well So we're coming to the end of the hike right now and I couldn't have asked for a better day. Not only has the weather been amazing, the scramble was up there with some of the best I think I've ever done. The kit has surpassed all of my expectations and it's just been a good day, you know. It started off, I was worried, I was worried to start with I'll be honest. Um, losing my remote shutter was not the ideal way to start it so again to Max and his mates just another huge thank you I mean you've really really saved me right there I'll link all of Black's social media in the description below her Instagram, TikTok, website all the kit that I have used today will be linked as well in the description so make sure you go check them out I mean they are the best place going really for high quality outdoors equipment outdoors kit um, and I couldn't have asked to work with better people so a huge thank you once more to them and um, we'll see you in the next one